Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for the 25th to the 1st of December. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and Buddy Advice on Facebook. And I welcome everybody and welcome to my Cyber Babes. Um, those are my true and faithful supporters and followers. Thank you, I do appreciate it very, very much. Please share the video with family and friends, everybody. And if you're new, please hit the subscribe button and the bell, then you'll be notified when I go live. I go live every day and I give away free cards and also uh, readings like Super Chat. I will be making an announcement uh, of some kind on what kind of readings are available. If you would like to have an extended reading for 35 euros, that is on special offer at this moment, uh, from 30 to around about 45 uh, minutes, then please send me an email and you can find the details below, also the donation button if you wish to donate. Okay, thank you very much and I do appreciate all the donations that I'm getting and it, will, it does support the channel. You can see I'm getting loads of new cards. So let's get started Aquarius and this is <clears throat> your card for the 25th. You've got the Hierophant and this is the back uh, view of the Hierophant. You can see that he's sitting on his throne. You can see his pupils. Uh, one is about peace and, and, and knowledge and the other one is the practical one, the one with the, the, the snake is also the conscious and the subconscious like the keys, the keys to the conscious, subconscious and the conscious. So the hyphen is an advisor, is a teacher and he teaches his young priests and he's the cardinal, um, whatever, a high guy in uh, the church. And he stands also for institutions. So you might be seeking advice from a professional or a father figure. This could be a doctor, a surgeon, uh, this could be the headmaster of school, this could be somebody that works in institutions or municipalities. Or you might be the advisor and giving advice to the younger ones. So you might be seeking advice or giving advice on the 25th. Then in the middle of the week, we've got the sun and the sun stands for uh, fertility, birth, new beginnings, growth, blossoming and harvesting. You uh, also, the sun is a, a spotlight, so you might be standing in the spotlight. You are getting recognition for your hard work or just because you are you. You are the sunshine in somebody else's life. Okay, or you might be meeting a Leo. You might be hearing that you're pregnant or hearing of a birth. Um, something that you've invested in might come to fruition. And it is also really a victorious um, card that you've got victory. Look at all the flags and the, the, the beautiful crown that the child is wearing. So it's an awesome card. It is one of the most positive cards in the tarot. This could be that you um, finally get that job that you wish or a promotion, a salary rise, a gift of some kind, or, or um, you might be moving home or going on holiday to a warm country. Okay, you at the end of the week, you have the Knight of Swords and he's charging. And it looks like if he's charging towards the Knight of Staves, um, giving him the information. So you might be receiving information, but also passing it on to a fire sign. Who knows? This could this news arrives through email or text message or telephone or airmail. It's good news because the sun is lying next to it and it most probably is news. Um, you are acting swiftly on Friday, but perhaps in the week, uh, in the weekend, you need to think about it. Okay, you need to think about it before you take action, but you need to take action quickly, because the uh, swords is swiftness, but without, um, it's more spontaneous than without thinking 
how how can I do it? How can I pass? What can I do with this news? But it, you might be moving home because the Knight of Staves also stands for a new home, moving home, and you've got the Sun in the middle of the week, so you might find out, get clarity about moving home. Okay, you can see the camels here; they are moving on and forwards. Then we've definitely you've got a lot of news coming. And here again, the uh, general uh, news here is from the uh, page of ones, and he could be a young person that is bringing you the ones instead of the more mature person. Okay, it is definitely a week of good news, and it could be news from organizations, perhaps from the tax office, that you're getting a rebate or a return of money. And you might be getting um, Aquarius, this could be you, um, as you are an air sign, you might be getting news from a fire sign, passing it on or getting information from, that could be your a person to get the information from. As the angels also say, get more information, okay? So, awesome. You'll be moving on and you'll be moving forwards. That's definitely, there's no stagnation this week. Then we have, and it could also be a new passion, okay? Because it is a night, the nights, so there is passion. Perhaps you might have passion with a fire sign, like I said, Leo, but because we have two other signs which are um, person cards, the knight and page, it could be that you might meet a Sagittarius or an Aries. So that's clear. Then we've got the golden key. It's a very special card from Archangel Michael. And that is passion. You might start a new passion. Ooh. Follow your heart. Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key allows you to follow your divine life purpose. The sacred energetic key is delivered to you by Archangel Michael and is power, it is a powerful blessing and gift that allows you to passionately follow your heart's desires. Archangel Michael reminds you that the spirit is passionate and without passion no one can be truly spiritual. Archangel Michael will assist you to align with the stirrings of your heart and soul. As you passionately embrace your spiritual life purpose, feel the qualities of drive. Well, that is definitely what you have this week, uh, Aquarius. The qualities of drive, willpower, Willpower, determination, focus and conviction allow you to totally embrace your spiritual calling and put your dreams into action. This key allows also, this key also brings with it the people and the financial resources required to assist your manifestation. Archangel Michael affirms passion is an altered state of consciousness that releases your inner potential and gifts that are usually shut down by your rational mind. What's that? That is like, um, let's have a look, resources, manifest, your higher callings. The, uh, it alters your state of consciousness, and here we have the keys of the subconscious and the conscious, and that's what you're going through at this moment with Archangel Michael. Okay, passion is an altered state of consciousness that releases your inner potential and gifts that are usually shut down by your rational mind, so the unconscious is being released. The real energy of this key is so powerful, Archangel Michael refers to it as the driving force. Boom, that's the Knight of uh, Staves. Take this key with love 
and gratitude. Hold it next to your heart and know that it's a gift that is delivered. And so it is. And affirmations for meditation, when you take time out after being so busy, you can say, my business is growing and expanding every day. I allow Archangel Michael and my angels to guide and inspire me. Creative energy surges through my being, leading to brilliant ideas and moments of genius. I'm passionate. My positive dreams are supported by the universe and manifest into reality. Awesome. That is really describing this reading even better than I could. Make the effort um, for what you want. Okay, even if it is, uh, even if it's going to be love, this is the Angel Romans card, but make the effort to take that key and know that it is coming into reality, your ideas. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. So Archangel Michael is telling you, take the step, follow your heart's passion. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed this strong reading. I have. Take care, my sweeties, and I'll see you in the live session. Please share and like the video with family and friends. Be blessed, and remember, together we stand strong. Ciao, ciao.